person's going to think that you thought that their food sucked. <laughs> It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, what is up? What is good with you? Back in a classic setting. I got myself a gangster salad here. It's a chicken bacon going to be ranch and vinaigrette mix salad. Brought a little hot sauce, maybe for a couple dabs here and there, but this thing is huge. It is basically like a whole head of iceberg lettuce. And then we got some fixins, but let's dress it up to get into it. We also have our reusable Timmy hose water, ice water. That's what I'm on these days, the ice waters and the salads. Now, I will tell you this. This is a bit of like a, I would say this is like a cheat meal salad. Like it's definitely, you know, the veggies don't really count for anything, but there is a chicken breast three strips of bacon, and then we're gonna have dressing and stuff, so. It's not really like bad, bad, but it's definitely just with how much there is, and we'll see how much more dressing we have to add later on. But that homemade vinaigrette, the ranch. She's big. She's gonna be banging. Oh, and we got ourselves a little focus issue. Mm. And I am 24 hours fasted right now, so I can't wait to eat this. It's going to get a little crazy, I think, with pushing things around. But it has absolutely everything you'd ever love in a bite of delicious salad. Chicken, bacon, everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, at first I was gonna try to make this an ASMR video. I did all the meticulous chopping and cutting of everything, all ASMR style. Then I went to edit it. And there was like an electrical buzz. on the uh, on the audio so it was a fail so I did have a prep part but I had to can it but it showed you everything that was in it So I'll go over that with you now. Iceberg lettuce, onions, red onion, off the mandolin, cherry tomatoes, cucumber, chicken, bacon, and I cook the chicken like nice and extra crispy. Chicken bacon, sprinkle of cheddar cheese, and then we've got chow mein crispy chow mein noodles for a crunch factor. Let's see if I can get a piece of this chicken to show you like 
I mean it nice and just like crispy golden. This is definitely like a kind of salad you would get from like Wendy's or something. Very much like that. Mm. It's just so good. Every time you get a bite of like the bacon with a piece of tomato and chicken and stuff, it's like a chicken BLT. Sam's the bread. Wish I had a plastic fork. But I don't. That's the one thing about salad vids. There's the cling clang. I'm trying to be mindful of your teeth. Pardon the fruit flies. If you see them flying around. This new healthy lifestyle. I feel like because I'm buying so much produce, I'm battling fruit flies all the time. And they are extremely annoying, pesky. And they replicate at an alarming rate. So good. Predominantly bacon bite. Mm. So in Canadian land, this Thanksgiving, this weekend, if I have dinner tomorrow, Next day, I have to try my best to be well behaved and all my shit. No mashed potatoes for me. Maybe a little side, maybe a little helping. That's a struggle I always have in life. Like, I feel like in life when you're on a diet or trying to not drink and stuff, there's always an event. There's always something where everybody's like, Come on. It's just a day. It's just two days. It's just leftovers. You know, it's just this one 
it's one holiday and then like a week or two weeks later there's some other thing a birthday a celebration Another holiday, a baby shower. I don't know what it is, but it's something. And you're like, will I ever be able to stick to anything for any extended period of time? unless I legitimately move into a cave, because that seems like the only way, because there's always the societal shit going on. I know y'all can feel me. I can't be the only one. also can't be the only one and please don't crucify me for this who doesn't think this certain comedian who just came out with a new special is everything is cracked up to be And that for me is Dave Chappelle. No, I know. Everybody loves him. It seems like everybody thinks Dave Chappelle is like this king. I think he's a great speaker. I think he's a great orator. I think he's got some good observations. But as far as really making me laugh, especially when it comes to his stand up, not his Chappelle show or the movies that he's made or anything like that, but his stand up. It just doesn't stand out to me. I don't know if it's not my style of comedy or, his, or what, but. He never makes me like die laughing. And because of his like stature and reputation I've given him, you know, time and time again, I've just tried to watch and tried to take it in and just it never hits for me. That was a fail of a bite. But I know people are going to not like that because it seems like people love Dave Chappelle. Except for he's in a little bit of hot water right now. From his new special. The LGBTQ community is coming after him. But, like I basically stated in other videos earlier this week, that's pretty much it. Nobody can do anything without it. 
Sun Group. Getting angry and offended and looking to take their head off. And so we say stay distracted and angry at each other. <laughs> right? Isn't that a good way to be? Anyways, as far as Thanksgiving goes, perhaps I'll wrangle up some leftovers and make me a Thanksgiver video. Thanksgiving or If you never added a crispy chow mein noodle, hit it. They're awesome salad toppers. Mm. The tomato bacon bites. We're out of control. I have this like little undressed side part here. For whatever reason, I feel compelled to not finish. Should I finish? It feels like so stupid not to finish, but I'm like, I'm at that point where it's like, my mouth is like so satisfied. It's like it doesn't, and also it doesn't have any bacon or chicken anymore. So I'm like, the good part's over, you know what I mean? And with that being said, I've just convinced myself I'm leaving it. In olden times, back in famine, if you had had enough at a charitable person's house or a guest's house, you would leave something like this on your plate to indicate to the host that you were in fact full and did not need seconds. If you cleared your plate, it would indicate that if there was enough food left, that you would have more if offered. And it's called an ort. <laughs> so you leave your ort or you don't leave your ort, but your ort indicates that you're still hungry or you're satisfied. So, I have an ort, meaning I'm satisfied. You're welcome for the history lesson. Use it at your next dinner party. But in current times, <laughs> with all this excess and ego, the person's gonna think that they thought that their food, the person's gonna think that you thought that their food sucked. <laughs> That's usually what it indicates nowadays when you don't eat something. It was okay. It was meh. It's kind of gross. <laughs> Anyhow, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.